Hello, and welcome back to Leather Soup Gaming, where we're running away from the plot. Is that what we're doing, Max? Yeah, we, we see the main quest. You see the main quest, and your entire point is to run away from the main quest. Really? That's, that's the whole point? Yep. Interesting. Because it's a collect-a-thon! Yeah, a lot of people don't know that. A lot of people just think, uh... Psychonauts is a linear, it's a linear first person shooter. Shoot him up. Oh, that's the beach. Okay, so now we're going this way. Speaking of first person shooters, uh, blast em ups. E3 just happened recently, and cool games, uh, great games, games I don't care about, and a whole mixed bag of in between. Oh, and a bunch of games that were announced, so they're real, but they ain't coming out anytime soon. Specifically, Starfield and Elder Scrolls 6. Seriously, those trailers combined have a total, like, trailer time of a minute and 30 seconds. Starfield has, like, a minute, and all it is is just a pan down from space to a satellite within, like, what I'm guessing is a rip in space time or whatever. And then uh, Elder Scrolls has had a panoramic view over what people have guessed and, like, Pretty much well guessed, I'm guessing, is uh, High Rock. They already have kind of figured out what they think is the next place based on just the mountains that you saw. Yeah, that's actually really cool. That's cool. I don't know how to get that. That's a good question. And eh, get back to it later. So are the little tiny, tiny spheres trailing your big sphere uh, thing, or is it just kind of uh, just for looks? Yeah, it's just cool. Gotcha. So, out of all the trailers that you saw, or that you know of at E3, which game are you most excited about? Oh, man. Just 2077. Yes. Uh, Best trailer of the entire conference. 2077 uh, is a good one. Uh, what's an, What was the other one? Uh, I mean, the Elder Scrolls, of course. Of course. Everyone's excited for that, but it's still going to be... If I had to guess, I'm going to say at least five, four or five years away. Just because of, like, they have Starfield coming up, and that's going to probably be, like, two years away. And then you want that to take place after a while. And then after that, it might be uh, Elder Scrolls Six. Yeah. Is he talking about the bear? Yeah. Okay, the psychic bear. Yeah, the psychic bear and the and the pyrokinetic uh, cougar that's out here. What the heck? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, when there, was this established? There's a mountain lion out here now that it's dark. Oh, goody. And it'll set you on fire. Oh, goody. Uh, and uh, apparently... I, Where do these things come from? Was it Sasha's experiments? No, it's the it's the ground. Uh, the, the pyro shit. Uh, well, no. What do you mean the ground? The ground is toxic? No, the ground is psychic. The ground is psychic? Yeah, the big rock thing that's underneath. Yeah, they explained it. It's uh, Cybranium. And like that just gives you psychic powers? It gives everything psychic powers. So like these kids were born of psychic manium? Uh, no, I think I think they just had it. I have a lot of questions about See, the oh, lore here's of this. The here's oh, there's, the there's the pyro lion. Hey, I've, got enough, lion. I've got enough health. Watch. Jesus! The thing just lit you on fire. Yep. The heck? And there's a camp here? Yep. They oh, don't oh, just oh, like. Oh, 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 you're not dead, though. Yeah, I'm gonna stop you right there before you get. Oh, boy. And this and this video got age restricted. Thanks, Max. Yeah, anytime. <laughs> I'm really free. I'm really here for you. Of course you are. Okay, here we go. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The entrance reception area, so I could do all the jumps. Yeah, it's interesting. Like, we've known for years that Elder Scrolls Six is gonna be a thing. Todd Howard himself is like, you know, are we making it? Of course we are. Like, that that's their biggest franchise. So even from just a uh, monetary business end, of course they have to make it. Like, well, we said the same thing about fall, about uh, Half Life. True, but then Valve made uh, Steam, and that's their that that's just a money printer. Yep, that's a license to they print money. They literally don't. Yeah, they don't have to do anything else. And also, like they're their own developers, publishers. 
they have a publishing like they have an entirely dedicated publishing game platform. They can do whatever they want. Come on. Bethesda Pretty is their own up. publisher, I think. Um, but they're not as big as Steam or as uh, Valve. Yeah. So they kind of are more forced to make Elder Scrolls. And I think they also have a passion for it, too. Um, just because uh, it's a cool world. I chickened out. I, I chickened you out. Did, you I, did. didn't, I didn't make you it. You got to dedicate. Come on. Come on. What are you doing? Come on. What are you doing? Come on. What are you doing? Come on. Don't do that. Don't Come do on, that. Dude. Come on. You got to show me respect. You got to work with them. That's what you got to do. You got to get right up in the asshole. But I'm super stoked about Starfield. I've been wanting a space game for a long time. Because I think the last one that I really played was No Man's Sky. And while it's not the worst game ever made, it's definitely not like the hype build up Second Coming of Christ that everyone thought it was going to be. It just, they've done a lot of improvements since no, it no, was released. No, 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 uh, But still has a long way to go, in my opinion. It's just that the, the worlds feel empty, because when you have 16 quintillion whatever planets developed, you can't have fascinating, interesting, giant cities or anything across it. They're going to be empty. Yeah. So I'm hoping that Starfield isn't exactly like No Man's Sky, but at least it's more like fleshed down, developed. But I guess we'll see in whatever, how many years it's going to take to come out. But Ghost of, of uh, Tsushima, I think that's how you pronounce it, looks really interesting. I didn't see that one. What do you think about it? Um, from what I've seen about it, it looks really interesting. It's it's made by the same developers of Infamous, uh, my personal favorite franchise. Technically, just specifically, Infamous 1 and 2 are my favorite games, period. Um, uh, I'm not a big fan of Second Son. It did a couple things really good, but it just overall is not, is not in my opinion, a great Infamous game. Uh, but it looks a bit more realistic-ish uh, during an interesting time period. Cause it takes place during the Mongolian invasion of Tsushima on Ooh, Japan. Fun. Yeah, you play as a samurai, I believe, and it looks really good. It looks it's very influenced from the uh, older Japanese cinematic movies. So Ooh. like in the trailer, there's a fight between these two samurais, like with swords and everything. And like it has the whole, like they it, they fight on a like uh, a little arena thing with like leaves all across the floor. And when they move around and such, the leaves kind of depart, so you can see their pathways and such. It looks super That's cinematic. So cool. It looks awesome. I'm super glad that they went with a new IP because I think after Second Son, they kind of needed to. It felt like they kind of they, cut. They kind of landed themselves into a rut in yeah, that franchise. They, they, yeah, pretty sure they wrote themselves into a corner. Yeah, because the way it ended, whether it's, well, you take whether you take the good or the bad ending, it kind of just ends. And with the first Infamous, it ended in a way where, like, you knew there was going to be a sequel. The way they established it was there are there is something much bigger coming up next that you're going to have to deal with. So when the second one came around, you were then dealing with that big thing. Uh, but Second Son was kind of like the that that's that's all, folks. Uh, so I'm super glad they decided to go with a new. There's the mountain lion again. I'm super glad they decided to go with a new IP, and I think it's gonna be really really cool. I'm excited to see how it turns out. Uh, what else? Death freaking stranding. Norman Reedus and the freaky fetus. Norman Reedus and the freaky fetus. <sighs> I have the only thing I can say about that I think I know for sure is one, I think you're a delivery guy. Like, that is your occupation, is that you're just a courier? Uh, because apparently there are multiple settlements, I guess, like towns, the lady says. Um, okay. They deliver things to and from. And, like, the whole, every single gameplay thing in the trailer was Norman Reedus delivering, like, packages. He had, like, these big crates and such he was carrying on his back. One of them was a freaking body. And uh, he was just delivering. And all he said, and one thing he said in the trailer was, 
I just deliver packages. So my guess is that you just deliver things from one settlement to another or whatever. And like, that's your job. That's a pretty sound argument. He yeah. said he was a delivery man. So, and so we think he's a delivery man. But still a Kojima thing. So I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it, I that, mean but it, I'm like, I'm kind of confident. But that's all I can say. And wow, you missed that jump. Great job. Punch that mountain lion. <laughs> he had that thing up like, ow, and then he just died. All right. So that's a whole trailer of death strainingness. And like, so there's that. The other thing is I don't think you can die. And by die, I mean like permanent death. More something like Dark Souls-esque where you die, but then you come back essentially. Like the undead, the, un the undead doesn't really stay dead. He kind of just comes back, he or she, uh, just kind of comes back. Yeah, it's 2018. Come on, man. <laughs> he, she's their Apache helicopter, whatever you are. Kids, Kevin. Um, oh, I know one thing for sure. You only play as Norman Reedus. Or I think his name is Sam in the game. Uh, Hideo Kojima himself said, yeah, I know you, you stick with Sam. That is that is the player. That's who you play as during the entire thing. So that's like, what, two and a half things that I think I know confidently? That's it. So, uh... <laughs> it, it, was, it was interesting. Death Stranding is still interesting. No, uh, if you ever see Hideo Kojima during the interviews, the guy is just smug the entire time. He just has like that smug face on him of like, I know what the game is and you don't. It's just, <laughs> God dang it, man. Hey, turkey sandwich. Do you give that to the uh, Mr. Uh, mustache over there? Nope, it's just a part of the collect-a-thon. Gotcha. You uh, collect sandwiches. Minor skull fertility doll? <laughs> sure. One of these is not like the others. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, it's the sandwich, because that thing's gonna go bad. Um, how much... How many arrowheads do I have? Yeah, I have plenty. I'm gonna just go, um, to finish this episode off, I'm gonna go back, and I'm gonna level the crap up. Fantastic. I'm gonna level up a whole bunch of times. Um, uh, was there anything else from E3 that really got you interested? Um... Uh... Spider-Man's looking good. I... I'm super stoked for I'm that. excited for that because Yuri Lowenthal is excited for that. Yeah, he's pumped. He is so freaking <laughs> excited. Um, Did you see all the villains that they showed in it? No. Uh, so the trailer that they showed takes place on the raft, which is like a super villain max prison uh, designed for super villains with like powers and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They showed off uh, Scorpion, which looks pretty cool. Vulture's outfit looks pretty cool. Um, Scorp uh, I already said Scorpion. Um, Rhino is in it. He looks pretty. He looks okay. Um, and Electro is in it. So they showed off those new villains. The game itself has a very. It, it's very, very, very much like their version of Arkham Asylum or the Arkham series, where it's it's inspired clearly by the comics, uh, but it's like their take on it essentially. And because it's Spider-Man, it's not so nitty gritty as Batman, where it's like, you know, hard, dark, core, gritty. Um, it's more Spider-Man, more colorful and such. So like all the villains have a comic book look-esque to them, but not as like dorky. Yeah, I can get down with that. So I don't mind the style of it at all. Um, it's like, they're not my favorite costumes for each character ever, um, but it's not bad at all. So I'm super stoked, and the the combat looks super cool, and the uh, locomotion looks really nice. So I'm pumped. I'm I think it's gonna be the best Spider-Man game ever, and that's quite a claim after Spider-Man 2. But and my personal favorite, Web of Shadows. But yeah. I think I think it has the potential for it. Look at all them cards. I told you I was gonna level up. My God. All right. Is it like uh, 
Do you have to go to a place to level up, or can you just go into the start menu? No, I had to go to there. Oh, gotcha. I had to show up here with all the ingredients to a level up. And, and do you have, like, up. skill points that you use to level up with, or is it just kind of... Nope. Uh, once you once you hit a checkpoint, you get specific bonuses. Like I just got the one where oh, if I, I do this, yeah. it does more da more AOE damage. Gotcha. Area of effect to people that don't do tabletop <laughs> or just games in general. All right. What's this cutscene? We'll find out next time on Leather Soup Gaming. Thanks for joining us. So uh, Max, do you have a thing? Everybody asks where's Waldo, but nobody asks. How's Waldo?